Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell from Dragon Rider Network, and today I'm here with some breaking news out of Facebook that they have officially announced that they are going to buy the photo sharing uh, service called Instagram for a billion dollars in cash and stock. So anyway, here we have the uh, Instagram website. This came as a uh, bit of a shock and a breaking news story just about 10 minutes ago, uh, not even that, and uh, it came out in Mark Zuckerberg's letter that he has right here. He posted it to Facebook and he said, in uh, quote, I'm excited to share the news that we have agreed to acquire Instagram and their talented team uh, and their talented team will be joining Facebook. For years we focused on building the best experience for sharing photos with your friends and family. Now you'll be able to do it even more closely with the Instagram team to, all, to also offer the best experiences for sharing beautiful mobile photos and people based on your interests. If I didn't read that 100% right, I didn't really have a time to sort of rehearse this whole thing. But anyway, uh, this honestly seems like a pretty big deal. One, because Instagram was already a huge social network on its own. Uh, not exactly like in terms of like Facebook or Twitter, but in a different way where sharing photos was a really big deal for a lot of people. And it wasn't only limited to Facebook, it was also on Twitter, it was on Google+, Plus. it was really actually everywhere, including on the iPhone and now on Android phones as well. But this, though, I can definitely see, and a lot of people may disagree with me, though, but I believe that Mark Zuckerberg in this situation may have invited Instagram onto the Titanic. I really do believe that, and I'm going to explain myself for that. One is because Facebook, it hasn't been any surprise to a lot of people, has been dropping just a little bit in popularity uh, because of Twitter and because of Google Plus in some circles, uh, no pun intended. But anyway, I think that the fact that they decided to go uh, after Instagram really shows that they're trying to go for some last-ditch attempts to become a little bit more popular again and this way they go out they buy a very very popular photo sharing uh, network and then try to incorporate it into their own now I'm not saying that this is the guaranteed death of Instagram but I am saying though that because of this Instagram will now have to fight a little bit more to stay alive and Facebook will have to fight even more to keep it alive because when Facebook has to start cutting back programs or start dissolving some of its internal stuff, I'm pretty sure that Instagram may be the first to go. But then again, though, but then again, though, honestly, I really don't know where this is all going to go. However, I'm actually very excited to see how this will work out for each of the social networks. And I'm also excited to see how this will work for Twitter because Twitter itself had some very high integration for Instagram and now that it's being dissolved into Facebook how this will work out might be a little bit interesting so anyway guys leave me your comments down below in the video uh, to tell me your thoughts on this situation what you think is going to happen to Instagram what you think is going to happen to Facebook or what you think is going to happen to any of the other social networks that are out and about today so anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, check me out on Google+, and be sure to check out the website, DragonRiderNetwork.com. Anyway, guys, I will catch you guys at the next video. Talk to you then.